Hi, this is Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve, and today we're going to show you how to use the clone tool to back up your media before you bring it in and to make sure that it's backed up properly using checksums. So stand by, we'll be right back. There is nothing more important than your original data. So your original files are the most important thing because they are irreplaceable. And if they are not backed up properly and you lose them, there's nothing you can do. So you should always make sure that you have a good backup before getting started with your editing. Now, in the past, my workflow would be to hook up my SD card reader, copy it to, uh, I have a Samsung T5, drive on the back, a little SSD, so it's really fast on there. And then I back it up to another hard drive before I do anything. And then at night, I'm gonna back that up to a big network attached storage array with a bunch of terabytes worth of storage on it. So I always have two, three copies of my footage before I start doing anything. Well, that can be a little tedious to copy, drag, copy, drag, make sure you got everything. But DaVinci Resolve actually makes it pretty simple, automated, and it uses checksums to make sure the files got copied properly. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in DaVinci Resolve, and it's actually very, very simple. So we're gonna be on the Media tab, and in the upper left-hand corner here, there's an icon that says Clone Tool. Now we open that up, and we can see it says No Jobs in Queue. So I've got my media files here and I'm going to add a job and I'm going to just drag my folder, my source folder over and drop it in place. Now I need to find my destination folder. So I have created uh, two folders on my desktop here called backup one and backup two. Now just assume that these are on separate drives. So I could have drive one, drive two, and put them all in here. And it's just as simple as navigating around and dropping those destinations in place. So there's two different places that the files are gonna go. And all I have to do is say clone and off it goes. So it says it's gonna go pretty quick here. I mean, I didn't pick a folder that had a bunch of huge files in it. So it should go fairly quickly. All right, so now it says it's done. And I'm going to open up a finder window here and go to my desktop, find my backup one folder. And there's all my files with my MD5 sums and my backup two folder has all the files in it with the MD5 sums. Now, keep in mind, because it is doing a checksum, it's going to take a little bit longer than just dragging in the finder or within windows from one folder to another. It's going to take a little bit longer, not significant, but a little bit longer. And obviously copying it to two locations or three locations, it's going to take a little bit longer as well because there's more disk IO. But this is a very simple thing that is going to ensure that your data is backed up properly before you ever begin to work. So check this out. It's the clone tool on the media page in DaVinci Resolve. I think you're going to like it and it's something you should absolutely use to ensure that you're not going to lose any files. This has been Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.